Hey guys, Michael Luckety with ArmchairBuilder.com here. Hey listen, this is the first of a series of videos on how to design and install a built-in wine bar. We're going to show you how to get a really custom look at an affordable price. So let's take a look. So we're going to show you how to go from this boring wasted area between these two columns to this custom built wine bar. We're going to add a wine chiller, storage for glasses, cork removers, aerators, and other accessories while adding a nice custom glass work surface on top. So we have three major objectives for this project. First, we want to keep costs low, but obviously we don't want to sacrifice quality in doing so. Second, we want to create a custom look to this wine bar. Third, we want to use as little space as possible. Our wine bar is going to be tucked in between two columns along a walkway through the kitchen. So we don't want the wine bar to stick out enough to disrupt or get in the way of the traffic flow through this space. So now that we know our objectives, let's take a look at how we go about planning for this project. So we want to start the planning process by getting the critical measurements of the existing space. The key measurements are the distance between the columns and the actual depth of the columns. So we want the cabinets to come out from the wall no more than 13 inches. So we're going to use a standard 12 inch deep wall cabinet. By using standard sizes, we can save money by not having to go with custom built cabinets. The other major factor in this design is the depth of the wine chiller. The smallest depths are in the 20 inch range. So we'll need to recess the chiller back into the wall to make sure it's flush with the front of the cabinets. So we've got a laundry closet behind that will give us the space to accommodate the extra depth of the wine chiller. We've got some planning to do to get the proper cabinets and wine chiller ordered. The best way to do this is with a scale drawing showing the critical dimensions. Well, I'm off to order the cabinets and the wine chiller, guys. So tune into our next couple videos as we show you how to save big money with freestanding wine chillers and we show you step-by-step -step how to build a custom wine bar.